Practice ACD 300 Real Questions to Pass the Appian Certified Lead Developer Exam. 1. You are planning a strategy around data volume testing for an Appian application that queries and writes to MySQL database. You have administrator access to the Appian application and to the database. What are two key considerations when designing a data volume testing strategy? A. Data model changes must wait until towards the end of the protect. B. Data from previous tests needs to remain in the testing environment prior to loading pre-populated data. C. Testing with the correct amount of data should be in the definition of done as part of each sprint. D. Large datasets must be loaded via Aplan processes. E. The amount of data that needs to be populated should be determined by the project sponsor and the stakeholders based on their estimation. Answer. A. C. 2. You are the lead developer for an Appian project. In a backlog refinement meeting you are presented with the following user story. As a restaurant customer. I need to be able to place my food order online to avoid waiting in line for takeout. Which two functional acceptance criteria would you consider, good? A. The system MUT handle up to 500 unique orders per day. B. The user cannot submit the form without filling out all required fields. C. The user will receive an email notification when their order is completed. D. The user will click Save, and the order information will be saved in the order table and have audit history. Answer. B. C. 3. Your application contains a process model that is scheduled to run daily at a certain time which kicks off a user input task to a specified user on the east time zone for morning data collection the time zone is set to the default pm time zone in this situation what does the pm time zone reflect a the time zone of the server where appian is intuited b the line zone of the user who most recently published the process model C. The default time zone for the environment as specified in the administration console. D. The time zone of the user who is completing the input task. Oswer. C. 4. You are required to configure a connection so that Jira can inform Appian when specific tickets change, using webhook. Which three required steps will allow you to connect both systems? A. Create a web API object and set up the correct security. B. Configure the connection in Jira specifying the UR and credentials. C. Create a new API key and associate a service account. D. Give the service account system administrator privileges. E. Create an integration object from Appian to Jira to periodically check the ticket status. Answer. A B C. 5. You need to design a complex Appian integration to call a RESTful API. The RESTful API will be used to update a case in a customer's legacy system. What are three prerequisites for designing the integration? A. Define the HTTP method that the integration will use. B. Understand the content of the expected body, diluting each field type and their limits. C. Understand whether this integration will be used in an interface or in a process model. D. 
Understand the different error codes managed by the API and the process of error handling Emma Paul. E. Understand the business rules to be applied to ensure the business logic of the data. Answer. Abed. Six. You have created a web API in Appian with the following URL to call it. HTTPS colon slash slash example appian cloud dot com slash suite slash web appy slash Yusuf underscore managefnant slash users. Username smiley face equals John Smith. Which is the connect syntax for referring to the username parameter? A. HTTP request U sees username. B. HTTP request query parameters. Username. C. HTTP request form data username. D. HTTP request query parameters users username. Answer. B. 7. You are presented with the following application requirement. Users must be able to navigate throughout the application while maintaining complete visibility in the application structure, and easily navigate to previous locations. Which Appian interface pattern would you recommend? A. Use Bullis as cards pattern on the home page low prominently display application choices. B. Implement an activity history pattern to track an organization's activity measures. C. Implement a drill down report pattern to show detailed information about report data. D. Include a breadcrumbs pattern on applicable inert ACEs to show the organizational hierarchy. Answer. C. 8. As part of an upcoming release of an application, a new nullable field is added to a table that contains customer data. The new field is used by a report in the upcoming release and is calculated using data from another table. Which two actions should you consider when creating the script to add the new field? A. Create a rollback script that clears the data from the field. B. Add a view that joins the customer data to the data used in calculation. C. Create a script that ADDs the hide and leaves it null. D. Create a script that adds the field and then populate it. E. Create a rollback script that removes the field. Answer. D. E. 9. Review the following result of an explained statement. Which two conclusions can you draw from this? A. The join between the tables order underscore detail and product needs to be fine-tuned due to indices. B. The worst join is the one between the table order underscore detail and customer. C. The join between the tables order underscore detail. Order and customer needs to be time tuned due to indices. D. The request is good enough to support a high volume of data, but could demonstrate some limitations if the developer queries information related to the product. E. The worst join is the one between the table order underscore detail and order. Answer. A. B.